In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make four options brain infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this silhouette of a human face. And when I click, it will show you the first part of the brain. You can see here option one along with the icon. And then on the right side, you can add the title along with the details. Then the second option comes third option and the fourth option. If you want, you can just break this brain into four or eight options. You can see here I've just put four and four at the bottom, total eight options. And you can add the detailed text towards the left also. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. I have created this silhouette of a human face. So I'm going to add the brain here and then I'm going to add four or eight uh, infographic options. So first of all, I'm just going to change the background right mouse click go to format background and select gradient fill and because i have already used in my presentation that's the reason it is coming so i have just used this dark blue and light blue color combination you can see here if you want you can just adjust it according to your requirement and the type i have selected radial and direction i have selected this one center one from center then I'm going to select this and I'm going to give some dark color here. You can go to format fill and you can just fill any dark color here. You can see here I've just filled the dark color and then go to effects shadow and I'm going to the inner and select this one, which is the bottom right. You can see here and if you need, you can increase the distance also. It looks kind of a cut out uh, image or a shape. Now I'm going to add the brain for that go to insert shapes and from basic shapes select the oval shape and draw the oval shape you can see here let me just make it something like this and then we need we can edit this for that right mouse click click on edit points you have got four points here. I'm just going to take this bottom point and I'm just going to drag up and then you can see here the left one I'm just going to make it more bigger you can see here and the right one I'm going to make it a smaller one you can see here if you want you can make it more up also and again make it more bigger so you got this shape and if you want you can just increase also and you can increase from this side now we can add few more shapes to get uh, the shape of a brain so now let me just adjust it a little bit and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the small oval shape here you can see here like this and press ctrl d and make it one more bigger here you can see here like this you can see here something like this and then right mouse click edit point and i'm just going to move this little bit some kind of this shape and this also a little bit here and that's it so let me just thread both this shape outline make it no outline so you can see here we got this shape so i'm going to select the bigger oval shape then the two smallers by holding the shift key go to merge shape and just say union so we end up getting one shape and make sure that this is we don't have any outline for this Now I'm going to split this brain into four parts for that. Let me just go to insert shapes and select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here, maybe this much size shape outline, make it no outline and give some different color and give a transparency effect here. And then you can see here, I'm going to make it duplicate of this press control D to duplicate. Just put it here. You can see just give some gap you can see here just some gap again press ctrl d you can see there's one more gap again press ctrl d and just make some more gap here and then i'm just going to select all these four by holding the shift key go to format just send back you can see here 
and then I'm just going to hold the brain you can see here and select the brain then go to format merge shape and you can just say a fragment shape you can see here fragment shapes then I can just delete the unwanted part you can see here I'm just deleting the unwanted part and you can give some different colors to it now you can see here i want this color i want some other color maybe this color and maybe some light color and again make sure that there's no transparency is zero percent so you end up getting this one let me just change the color to some other color maybe this so we have created four different parts now you can just add the options now let me just select all just move this to the left side so that i can add the options here go to insert text box and just i'm going to say zero one choose the font of your choice i'm going to choose oswald center align make it white give shadow effect increase the size and just put it here this is one press ctrl d i'm going to put it two here then this is third one and this is the fourth one so let me just rename it now this is four this is three this is two and then you can just go to insert icons and you can just download any icons of your choice let me just download any four icons just click insert and I'm going to give as white color and I'm going to make the height and width as 0.4 the height and width and then I'm just going to add it here you can see here you can see and then I'm going to add it here and then you can add the detail option towards the right side so I'm going to select this one press ctrl D and bring it here you can see here and change the color according to the color what you have selected and go to insert text box you can add your title here your title you can see here again same font I'm going to use it white color increase the size this is the title and add one more text box and you can just add the detail text equals lorem within bracket one so it will give me this one let me just reduce the size you can see here and just add it below and then i'm just going to select this three text press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and this is second option third option and fourth option i'm going to come and select change this one and again this color should be the same color this will be the third again the color will be the orange one and the fourth is the light gray color you can see here this color i'm going to check so you can see one two three and four now uh, before doing the animation let me just group this you can see here the first option press ctrl g i'm going to highlight the second option press ctrl g to group it then the third option group and then the fourth option group it to add the animation close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane i'm just going to select the first option add animation go to more entrance effects and select stretch you can see here and click ok if you want you can just say from left and once this is done it should this uh, detail text should come so for that again i'm going to use the same animation so i'm going to select this animation painter click on this and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this then again using the animation painter i'm going to select the second option and then i will select this and click on this so you can see here likewise let me just do for the third and then the third text comes here and then the fourth one then the fourth text again animation painter 
so let me just do the slideshow now if you see here when i click the first option second option third option and fourth option that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye